You know, another thing I want to perhaps clarify is when people talk about, um, quote, usually bodybuilders as saying that the weight isn't important, the weight doesn't matter. You know, I have said similar things before, and I think that's being largely misinterpreted. At least when I said it, what I meant, and I, I would afford this probably understanding, I would think that this interpretation applies to other people that have built a lot of muscle you're going to learn something building a lot of muscle. I don't care who you are, regardless of what you use or haven't used, you're still going to know things about building muscle. There's just no two ways about it. It doesn't happen by accident. No matter what anybody says, it really doesn't happen by accident. Um, when I have said things along that line, along that vein, that the weight is irrelevant or the weight doesn't matter, uh, it kind of is more of the weight is subjective than weight doesn't matter. It's not a dismissive thing saying that weight really doesn't matter at all. It's that if you concern yourself with the reps, when people say that, that only the reps matter, don't worry about the weight. If you concern yourself with the, the reps and the range of motion that you want to be in to trigger whatever it is you're looking for, you're hoping to, um, the weight's going to work itself out. That's all it means. When you, because typically, especially guys, males, because... Uh, self-esteem or whatever have you when they're in the gym especially in public gyms around a lot of people and other guys are there their peers are there uh, they will tend to want to put more weight on they'll look at something they're doing and look at what everybody else is doing and they'll feel self-conscious because they're not able to lift the amount of weight that the guy next to them is working out with or what have you so very, very often a guy will have too much weight on and then he's got to sacrifice his form and just everything just starts to go to hell from there because um, the, the amount of weight becomes, you know, tantamount to him with his you know, manhood, pretty much. His display of manhood, which working out is not a display of manhood, but in the beginning many people think that it is, they misinterpret that, it's not what it's about at all. You hang around long enough, you're going to figure that shit out, believe me, or you, or you just won't succeed. Because it can be very humbling, especially when you're doing deadlifts and squats and things like that. I mean, that when you're deadlifting, that's really a true lift. The weight is on the floor just sitting there. It's inanimate. It doesn't mean you any malice or anything, but you can't bullshit that weight up. You can't bullshit that weight up in your hands into a lockout position. You can't intimidate that weight up. You can't talk. You know, mouth, run your mouth enough to, you know, to make that weight feel like it better, you know, fall in line with your desires or anything else. It's very humbling. It, it, it's uh, um, a very mortal type of endeavor. Um, if you can't lift it, you're not going to lift it. It's as simple as that. No amount of attitude, no amount of beast mode or anything else is going to make that weight, you know, any easier to lift. You're going to jump up and, and enable you to lock it out. So uh, it does get to the point where it is very humbling and you do really discover where you fall in pecking order. And um, that aspect of it, you know, where you fall becomes pretty much irrelevant. And you develop your own pecking order. You're working, uh, you're competing with yourself. You just want to be better than you were the day before. You know, over a period of time. You know, that's what your hope is. Um, so... When I've said things like that, and I think when a lot of other bodybuilders or people who you interpret as mainly or largely bodybuilders concerned with mainly hypertrophy uh, or hypertrophy as uh, the snooty people say, hypertrophy, uh, I think that, the, that what, the, what they mean, what I mean certainly is if you concern yourself with the reps, the weight's going to work itself out. Be Focus on the reps, you know, the rep range that you want to operate within, focus on those reps and then the weight will work itself out. And me personally, I don't want to waste any set. If I get under a weight, unless it's ridiculously too light or I'm, I, I've really missed the mark, missed, missed the mark by a long shot, which as long as I've been lifting even as a natural now, uh, that's new territory for me uh, at this age, but I still, I'm not gonna overestimate or underestimate a weight by that degree because I've just been doing it too long. But if I do happen to, um, um, you know, overestimate or underestimate something. And if I have too light of a weight on, I'll still try to make it a productive set. If I'm looking to operate within a rep range of, I don't know, 12 to 15, I, I like a really wider range myself. I think 10 to 15 is a productive range for me. I don't really want to go much lower at my age any more than like eight reps, I think. I at least want to get eight reps out of it. 
younger guys, uh, lesser reps, lower reps can still be um, extremely productive and useful. They were for me when I was younger. But today at this stage of the game, I don't want to do less than eight reps. And I, I don't always want to go more than 15. Occasionally with smaller muscles, I maybe I will do some sets that are higher reps. But um, the, the, the real ones that matter are usually going to be between, for me, you know, 8 and 15. I'm going to say some, somewhere like that. 10 to 15 is probably preferable. If, 10 to 12 is probably really, if I really want to narrow it, it's where I want to be most of the time. But uh, if I get under a weight and it turns out I can do 25 with that weight, if, if number 25 is going to be the rep, it's going to be the one, you know. You know what I'm saying? That, that I'm not just, uh, just um, randomly going to stop at a particular number of rep, you know, amount of reps. But if that's going to take me into the, the place that I want to be and I'm going to get that feel where that muscle is fatigued appropriately enough, you know, by my opinion, then I'm not going to stop at 15. I'm going to say, you know, well, I'm going to go ahead and do five more reps or whatever the case may be because I still want to get something out of it. I still want to produce some kind of a positive effect out of it. So I think that um, that's what I mean when I say, you know, that worry about the reps. The reps are what's important. The weight, when I say the weight is irrelevant, I don't literally mean it's irrelevant. I mean that if you concern yourself with the reps, and you want to you concern yourself with finding that range and working within the range that you're shooting for the weight's going to work itself out the weight will work itself out and, and so of course the weight's extremely relevant but if um but psychologically if i don't want someone to uh i don't want them to get caught up in that chase just for the poundage you know and sacrifice form sacrifice range of motion sacrifice that rep that rep range i want them to uh focus on the reps over that if that's what they need to do if they can't do it all or have it all you know then that's that's what I mean by that so that's what I mean when I say you know the reps just worry about the reps when I say it that's what I mean I can't speak for everybody else but I would assume that that's what most people that's probably what they mean none of us are so stupid as to think that the weight really doesn't matter it's just that the weight is very subjective what's heavy for you may not be heavy for me or what's heavy for me may not be heavy for you you know, heavy is a relative term. That's kind of what I mean.